Hey there, I'm Steve Boyko, and I'm here to tell you how to get more dispatchers in Train Station 2. One of the things you'll find when you're playing Train Station 2 is that you want to send more and more trains, and for every train you need to have out, you have out, you need to have a dispatcher for. So up here in the top, you have a button that shows you how many dispatchers you have and how many trains you have. So right now, I have seven dispatchers, and all, all of them are controlling trains. So if I wanted to send another train, I need another dispatcher. How do I do that? Well, first is when you start the game, at first you get three dispatchers, and as you go up in levels, like I'm level 87, you see, as you go up in levels, you get more dispatchers. So uh, at level, you, uh, you get four, you start with three, At you get four at level six. Usually you'll get an option to get uh, dispatchers early by spending gems. And like everything else, gems makes things go faster in a train dispatcher two, and um, train station two. Sorry, so uh, you may want to spend the gems to get to your dispatchers early, or you may want to wait. So you get four slots at level six, five slots at level twenty-six, six slots at level seventy, and so forth. Occasionally, you will get a uh, opportunity to buy more dispatchers. Uh, by spending gems, I recommend you probably want to do that because you definitely want more dispatchers as much as you can. Now, there are ways to get more dispatchers. So right now I have seven, but the reason why I have seven, even though I am level um, 87, I should only have six, but I bought one. So when you click on this, you see there's a buy more button beside it. If you click that, you can, you can uh, use gems to buy more dispatchers on a temporary basis. So you can see here that Harry is available to activate for one hour for free. And basically what you have to do is watch a video like you, on many other things in Train Station 2. You watch a video and you get it for free. So you get Harry for an hour and then he recharges for another five hours after that hour is finished before you can pick him again. So try to use that wisely at times when you're going to be active in the game. Now here I have used gems to rent Lisa for a week. And then I used more gems to prolong it for seven days. So I, I got Lisa basically for two weeks. And the reason why I did that is because we're in a special event right now. And I wanted to make sure that uh, I had as the maximum number of dispatchers during this special event. So once you, once you uh, rent Lisa, you unlock Matt. And you can get Matt for a period of time by spending gems. And if you unlock Matt, then you get to have Thomas. So if you, if you want to spend a lot of gems, you can get a lot of dispatchers. But remember that gems eventually cost money, so you may not want to do that. Now here at the bottom, you can see dispatcher. I can uh, My next dispatcher, permanent one that I get, unlocks at level 130 if I want to spend gems, or at level 150 if I want to spend, in this case, cabinets, which I can't even make yet. So uh, I have to wait for that for the permanent dispatcher, but you can always get a temporary one here. So my recommendation is use... Harry as much as you can. Pay attention to when Harry is going to uh, be available and use Harry. And sometimes in the sale, uh, not today, but sometimes you get the option to uh, to rent a package of dispatchers. So you might be able to get, uh, say, Lisa, Matt, and Thomas for a certain number of gems for a period of time. So that's how you get dispatchers in Train Station 2. And uh, I recommend you maximize the number of dispatchers to maximize the number of trains you can send. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the game.